Taylor is an, am an amazing rider. And uh, having uh, him on board as a screen uh, rider uh, guarantee you a high level of uh, uh, storytelling. Great character development and straight to the point uh, dialogue that makes everything really fast, brilliant. The plan is pretty scary and simple. It is to kill someone from a cartel and putting, of course, their responsibility on the other one and uh, mostly kidnapping the daughter of one of the biggest boss of the cartels. That is the guy who gives the order to kill Alejandro's family. So the point is to kidnap the girl and release her in uh, one of the cartel's uh, territories and see what's happened. Matt is a soldier. He works for the government. Means that he, he has to obey to order. And in our story, in a specific moment, is going to have to decide if to go against the US gov government by feeling, uh, by uh, following is a moral point of view. And, but this struggle makes him a soldier, a pure soldier, because he, he cannot decide. He just has to obey order. Alejandro is uh, a completely different character because he's a lone wolf. He's, uh, he's moved by the rage of a... Uh, of uh, searching vengeance for what's happened to his family. And he works for Matt. That's it. So he has just uh, himself as a moral compass. And uh, in our movie, he's going to use uh, his uh, Sicario skills in, uh, let's say, in a different way. In the beginning, they start uh, again working together. And the reason why they are together probably is because they are good at what they do. And for sure they have, uh, they trust and they like each other. But uh, the issue arises when uh, they meet the little girl and they had to split. And uh, Alejandro had to go and find the girl. I like very much to, to work with uh, practical effects. I like also VFX, but I feel that in, uh, in uh, more you do practical, the more you have uh, a reaction from the actor, means that Putting an actor where you have a real explosion all around him helps, really helps him in making the, the perf performance. So we did uh, an incredible work of uh, prep in this uh, sequence. And then the, the most complicated part was to shoot almost entirely the scene from inside the, the, the Anvil, because we had an an incredible amount of effects really close to our actors. I mean, just, you know, it's, aside from uh, his evident uh, acting skills, he's uh, an incredible uh, human being. And uh, as an actor, he has a, a, a really great skill that he, he get and he get the entire scope of the movie. It means that he knows perfectly where his character is in, in a moment, but also where all the other characters are. 
So this gives him uh, a sort of uh, higher point of view that it's uh, pretty, pretty rare. To watch Benicio in, immersing in, uh, in the character, it's, uh, it's an incredible experience because it's, it's like he enter so completely in the character that everything he does makes sense, not for himself, but for the character. And then I, I'm talking about small things, small props around him. And this is amazing, he, the, um, the ability he has to build the character. The character is incredible. Isabella, she is a, a young adult. She's immensely talented. It was really uh, nice to have her on, on set because she's a 16 years old girl. Means that she does, she what's up, she talk at the phone, and then when you say, okay, ready to shoot, she transform herself. And this is something I've seen really few times in my life. So she can come from, okay, 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 call you, call you, to the perfect concentration. Uh, so in, in a way, she gave to the character exactly what we needed, because it's like Isabella, the character, is uh, an old young means that is a, a young girl that has that have has seen a lot so i think she she gave to the movie an incredible an incredible touch and she's so amazing i always believe that a movie must entertain you smartly uh, and also, I feel it's not bad if uh, after the entertain, you think that the movie made you think a bit about the world that is around you. This means that, of course, we explore some really contemporary issue, but not as a documentary do, is... Uh, is part of uh, the frame, it's part of the background. It's, uh, and it makes the story realistic. By shooting in a location, you're going to, to feel the authenticity, the reality around you, even with small detail, but I feel they are really, really important. Especially if you, um, work with the story that uh, are uh, um, set it up in a specific place. Like uh, Soldado is uh, a story in the border, so it was, of course, impossible not to go there in the desert and uh, shoot in cities really close to the border to get, to get the real feeling of our story and of the truth. Hey guys, what did you think of that video? Now, stay with me as I have a pretty interesting behind the scenes fact for you. Now, a lot of work goes into the making of movies and sometimes accidents can happen during production. The largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the eyes of the coast of Newfoundland. 27 people died, including producer and co-director Varike Frissel, as well as collaborator A.G. Penrod. The incident is one of the most infamous in movie history, and the film was made in tribute to those who lost their lives. The opening cards describing the accident and the film are genuinely touching. On that sad note, I will leave you and remind you that we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See you soon.